Hello, let's talk about how to use the EDIA website. If you click my school, you can link your school with your account. If you do this, you can see other people that are also at your school if you want to collaborate to make the same assignments. There's also different filters. When you click classes, you could create classes or import it from Google. So if you create new class, you could just type the name right here, create it, and it will be right here. Now, if you click on the class, it will have students, teachers, assignments, and grades. You could also rename the class at any time, or just archive it if you're not using that class right now. For the assignments, to create a new assignment, you just click the yellow button that says Create Assignment. You could do practice, which is the student could keep doing the problem over and over until they get a correct answer using similar problems or they could do a quiz where they're given a time limit and they complete the questions and they can't go they, they can't redo the questions so if we click practice you could name the assignment with whatever you want to be named you can assign it to specific classes or specific individual students. You could decide when to post it and when it's going to be due. To add questions, you just click add questions and then type in what you're looking for. So let's just say that we're going to do factoring. Uh, factoring with substitution. So it'll have one or more questions related to that topic. You could choose to add as many as you want. Notice here it has a preview of what the students will see when they do the question. Now if you type an answer and you get wrong, it gives you an explanation of how to do it and then you could try it again. It'll give you a similar problem. You could also skip questions. If it's on the practice, you could just keep skipping the questions until the end, and they'll go back to the beginning. And you can keep doing that until you get all the right answers. Now, you could uh, choose if you want to have late submissions or not. You could also change individual students on how long that they have for extra time on assignments. If you click the anti-cheating features, notice that it has a border in the background. Last time I checked, this will no longer work with apps such as PhotoMath. So this could be very useful if you're way to ensure that they are trying their best at these problems and not just trying to look up the answers. So once you put a title name and you've assigned it to one or more students, you could click create. And then once you create an assignment, you can copy the share link to, to share with the students. Now, if you want to edit it at any time, you just click on the assignment and choose options to share with the students again or share with the teacher to get a copy of it, or you could duplicate it or delete it. You could also add questions or remove questions while the assignment is there. Here's a way you can embed this on a Canvas page. So you go to Options, 
share with students, click the link, and copy it. So when you get to Canvas, you can just create a new page, click inside of here, click the embed button, and then so for the embed code, you want to have the, the website link, and you also want to have the frame. So just cut your EDIA link and paste it to your website here. If you would like to, you can also change the width and the height from this iframe. So if you need to, pause the video, write down what you need to embed a site. And then once you click OK, the page will show up right here. And when the students see this page, they'll go right to the assignment as long as they log in with their student email or another email. Um, also, another thing about EDIA, they are always very open to feedback, so be sure to try it out. If you see anything you would like to add or change, be sure to fill out some feedback for this.